Guten Tag, everybody. Today we are spielen a little bit of Victoria 2, one of my favorite games of all time. It is very good, and uh, we are going to continue with the mega campaign. Wait a minute. Uh... Victoria 2! Ah, yes! I've been so excited to play this game. Let's first load into the game as the Fanboy Republic, obviously. We are number 20 great power, kind of. I don't know why this is. We start off as a great power, we should be in the sphere of Arabia, but for some reason the Fanboy Republic just starts as a great power. Colombia. They are above us. They have 47 mil score, we have 27. I suppose we have one prestige. It's a bit of a shame because I would have liked to suck Arabia a little bit dry of them. Get money, it, it's a desert! Just from, you know, getting investments from them. The other great powers, Scandinavia, Italy, Arabia, Burgundy, Castile, Hungary and the US. Most of them are not that surprising. The US are now free. England has been absorbed into Scandinavia. Scandinavia is one of the strongest nations, without a doubt. A bit of a bummer that Arabia ranked so low, but you know, we didn't pump out as much military as we could have. We could have doubled our military in EU4 at the end. These all can form India if they have enough cores. Of course, uh, Paramaras is probably the one nation that will form India. The Empire of Japan is also here. Don't really have anything to expand to, but uh, I mean, they can say hello to Korea, I suppose. Africa has been snapped. We only have Tagant and Sahara as African nations, non-North African nations. Jin, I don't know why. I suppose the converter didn't give you a name. You're not important enough. Fanboy Hooters, you know them, you love them. We have the Fanboy Tops. I did absorb Walmart into Brazil. They were renamed into the Arabian Grand Fanboy Republic. I don't know why. They shouldn't have that name. They should have Brazil as name because they have it here. They just don't have it on the map. I'm not a high 4 modder. Yeah, I'm not a high 4 modder, but I'm also not a Wiki 2 modder. Jesus. For a second, I was like, wait, why does Italy have Canada and the US as puppets? No, it's Italian US. Okay, fuck this. I don't care. I don't care that I'm bald. It's actually uncomfortable. Sure, let's shoot a few people. We don't really have that many anyway. It does seem I've been cured of my boldness, which does mean we can just quickly start the game for real, for real. And with the Grand Fanboy Republic, we do have a few goals. Because we are playing in the Americas, we want to reform as soon as possible. Which does mean we want a lot of Rick and Morty fans, a lot of big thinkers. We are going to encourage intellectuals. Oh, that's new. The uh, Colombia immediately reformed into Central America. I've played this a few times and usually they form Panama and then Central America. We need to also decrease our relations. There's two things we can do here. We can either use our elections liberalism, but this is gonna take ages. So we're going to use a more sensible approach, which is war. There we go, we have this. And then I will just justify on you for a humiliation. Now that they are sieging us out, we are going to get war exhaustion. There we go. Humiliate you. We don't have prestige anymore. That's fine. We will just piece you out. I'm also gonna go for pre-press first, since this gives us political awareness and the literacy impact on consciousness. That's something I really like to see. I'm actually going to abolish serfdom first, I think. Wait, where did we get all of these slaves from? Guatemala is pretty much just a slave state. There's just 90k non-slaves in the state. <laughs> what the fuck, that scuff, there we go. You are all promoted. Yeah, let's just get serfs out of our country as well. Oh god, I don't like the sound of rebels. Let's just peace out now. Immediately knocks our war exhaustion down to 50%. Let's run for some fanboyan literature because we need to become a great power. Oh, Italian Canada annexed Louisiana. So I suppose the US is starting to manifest. Yeah, let's keep on pumping realism. I could go for ideological thought, but the national focus is good. But I mean, just look at this. We have six states. Right now, this doesn't really give us anything. So keep on pumping realism. And then also medicine for the pop growth and functionalism for the education efficiency. Although so, like, we're already pretty good with our 50%. Oh, factories! Yes! We have a factory, finally. And it's not making money. That's the Mexicans. Free Mexicans! And I can't see any Mexicans anymore. Oh, I don't like that at all right now, what you're doing. We're friends, right, Central America? We, uh... There we go. We're almost at cordial relations. It's kind of scuffed that we're almost a great power. We've done nothing. I've not even written poems or anything. I'm gonna go for Impressionism. More star mana. Although it's not really mana in this game. We're not spending it on anything. Aggression! 
Anything else that's happening? American liberation of Italian Illinois. There we go, we are now a great power. Uh, we've done nothing. Mexico is number 10. So a little bit more and they will be free. Very nice, very nice. Let's just work on Cuba for now, I think. And also try working, try working, try and get Brazil. Salzburg, Salzburg is a major. Yeah, this world is, I, mm. I suppose Arabia is relatively big and Scandinavia did annex all of England and Andalusia is partially westernized because it's Victoria too and the converter is sometimes just racist, I mean non-European, does not prefer Europeans, does not prefer non-Europeans, there we go. Honestly the economy is doing much better than I expected it to. I just haven't really gotten events for consciousness, consciousness. and then let's encourage clerks. We do want more research points. <laughs> Castile is almost no longer a great power. Mexico is gonna surpass Castile. What? Why did you create Gypsy Land? Am I gonna get monetized now? Wait, where, where's Italy? You're a secondary power as well. Three colonies, three Arabian colonies are now Sedusi. I hate my mind. I hate my mind. No, go away. You really fought long and hard what you're gonna call your country, huh? We really tried everything. We tried land, we tried country. I can't think of any other name that we could give our country. Guys, I have a great idea. Orange. Three colonies of the Arabians are now major powers. There we go. Welcome to the fanboy market, Cuba. The German nations are blobbing. Burgundy is also expanding nicely. They might form France. Wait, Japan? War of Japanese submission. Yes, they're independent now. Still allied with Spain, that's fine by me. I don't really care. Restore order costs 59 points. Almost nice. Wait, I, am I no longer allied with you? Shit, I kind of counted on that. Uh, you? Fuck. Oh, the US is expanding. That sucks though. The Erfurt Union. Oh, oh my God, we did get Germany? Wow, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Looks like they're, oh, they're not running. Great for me. We can get machine guns and we will need them. Probably won't research them in time, but we can also just mobilize here. Let's fall back a little bit here. You definitely need to regenerate. You can just stay here. Okay, you go in, you go support, you go support. Yeah, you're just gonna attack here. Kind of fine with me. I didn't mobilize yet. I guess better for the economy. We're doing perfectly fine here. Come on, get in there. Yes, we won the battle. I suppose right now we're winning. After everything I've done for these two nations, they're both a secondary power now. Well, I guess it's very good for me. Makes sphering easier. Just keep on cycling divisions here. They're actually gonna split up, interesting. Can I do something like this? Okay, nice, that worked. They're just sending every Mexican division in here. You could say they're not sending their best. And now I need to regenerate and... <sighs> With what? I'm gonna send you here and you here. One by one. No, that's not overextend here. We're still dug in, so we can wait a little bit. Uh, I might have waited a bit too long. There we go. We are winning, I think. Let's do something like this, I think. It's gonna be costly. 64 brigades versus my 87, so we are we are making progress. We are number three great power. All the battles are just giving us prestige. Yeah, just look at this. The next prestige, the most prestige, country with the most star points apart from us is the Air Force Union with 117. Let's <laughs> just look at them. They're sending troops into the meat grinder and immediately just sending other troops to unsiege. But it's like you're not gonna win the war like this. I think we're getting to a point where they don't have anything to send in anymore. Those that are sending to the front don't really have any strength. Yep, we have definitely won this war. And I didn't even need to reload 20 times. Only like five. That was a nice shuffle, but that doesn't matter. You will still be taken out. We have three great powers in South America. Did you ever think this would happen? Sure, you're called Central America, but come on. Oh no, reinforcements. Whatever will I do? There we go. That is not right. Ah, I think it was Panama. I, I didn't add the Republic of Central America. 
<laughs> We're probably just gonna be number one GP now. <laughs> Ooh, after a long and arduous journey, we have finally united all fanboys under our high heels. The only question that now remains is, Tanu what? We get 26 prestige, all countries that is a puppet of Fanboy Republic will inherit, country changes to grand Fanboy Republic. There we go, we are a nice shade of green, so we fit in with our other friends. Oh, wait, what happened to... Why? Why did you annex Albania? <laughs> Wait, you lost Malta! Why? Also, we do have a Femboy flag. I can't believe that this is part of the base HPM. The Cubans better pay their debts, but I'm sorry, I have bad news. Cuba does not exist. But I can still piss off my rich strata, so I will do it. They're unscrambling Africa right now! And now I need to fix the economy of four different countries. Uh, we can also demob. Very important. Canada would also like to be our friend. Sure, they're useful against the US. So we will be the protector of the Americas. Fembo in South Fembo America. Republic. Arabian communists. Finally, I guess it's time for some RSI. Then again, I did choose this myself. I did give myself this course. I mean, HPM gave me those calls. Just download HPM, I can guarantee you it's... You will see all of this. Uh, I think. Uh, come on. I guess we're gonna be on our own. Arabian reactionaries. Huh? Please don't crash. Now I need to do all of this again. Ooh, that does not sound good. Socialist Americans. What kind of bizarro world is this? Militant socialists have enforced the demands in Arabia. <laughs> You're never catching a break. Prices. Over Samoa. Haha! -ha! Over here? Ha! <laughs> if you told me six years ago that I would know roughly where Samoa is, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, uh, good one. There we go. Now we only need two artillery pieces for this one. This is probably the worst part about Victoria, too. Just all of the fucking micromanagement, man. Tierra Austral is. You are number 12. Also, what the fuck has happened here? This world is messed up, man. Even those factories that are doing good. Actually, Superman does good. Those factories do well. We don't need to subsidize anything. The only thing we are going to subsidize are artillery and such stuff that is useful for war. Victoria. Victoria. Hey, Arabian communists have come back. German liberation of Burgundian Elsa's Lothring. Oh, that almost sounds as... I guess in about 20 or so years, we should keep an eye on Europe. This could become a problem. Yeah, Andalusia has gone. After everything I've done in EU4, I cut most of this out of the final edit. I poured, I think, 60k ducats into Andalusia. I fought six wars for them. And now they're losing. It's just pointless. All of this is just a metaphor for existence, honestly. There's nobody in China. China is a barren wasteland. Ming has 15 million. Normally, uh, Ming has around 400. Honestly, just give me West Canton, I guess. Houston, we have a problem. Rebels. Of course we did get them in Cuba. I just love that they're just sending divisions in. Not a full stack, just partially. Every single time. They would be down for a peace deal or I can get even more. More China! It's not really worth it though. Yeah, let's just... I'll take it for now. Scandinavia has zero prestige! I don't think the AI knows how to deal with rebels. The ethnic union of Vedluga. Are you sure? I'll put that one in the lost and found file, okay? It's 1890. We could go for some reforms here with the school system. Education efficiency, assimilation rate, but honestly, the additional pop growth is much better. Especially, like, it's 1890, you know? The Jin adjective... adjective you were released. Why? Pensions. I don't think pensions were good. Uh oh. I should have gone for pensions. Nemeni. And Australia has been formed. We now have three Australias. <laughs> and Australia has cause on this. Not even half of Papua New Guinea. Just on these two provinces. That was almost the livestream fails moment. I almost chucked him. I put him down. I, no, I didn't put... I placed him on the ground. I really took way too long to come up with that. Come on. Arabian reactionary. My baby. It just hurts. 
America didn't really manifest the way that you would expect them to manifest. <laughs> Castile is in the sphere of the US. The most important one, I do want the Senussi. Honestly, I should go in against Central America. I wouldn't mind Panama. Yeah, let's go. Fanboy Hooters has invented great walls. The dig in is just so busted here. <laughs> You're still sending in divisions. Half a million lives lost. 81 war score from just this battle. You already built Panama. Ooh, let me test it. <gasps> it works! Did I just build an irregular? What the fuck? What is wrong with me? Did you not invent communism earlier? Fanboy Hutus inventing fascism does make a little bit more sense than inventing communism, but like, you invented both now. Normal! It is time, my brethren. Cain calls. Let's purify them. But first, I of course need to fix my army. Oh, come on, I just restructured my army. <laughs> and now everybody's gonna die again. <laughs> you fucked up. Minus five from digging and three from gas attack. Just gonna fall over. <laughs> I just love gas attack in this game, man. Ah, fuck, that's part of Gypsy Land. That's also part of Gypsy Land. And I can't declare war in Gypsy Land. And we could go in for 100 prestige and 2 infamy. 4 fires in the country. Sure, take it. I forgot I was the war leader. I forgot this happens in Wiki. Whoops. Irregulars? Number one. How did you get there? Number two. Why are you an irregular? What? You would still like to peace out. Well, yeah, we could, but... Uh... What about Saufunan? What's in for me anyway? You would still like to peace out, well, but what about- Ah, oh, fuck, it's- <laughs> I did think it was Hunan, but then I was like, yeah, okay, there's also West Hunan, so, uh, I hope I don't have to suppress revolts. I don't think they're gonna join. Actually, they did join, even though we have a core problem. Well, that's nice. So we're allied with California now and Scandinavia. We're also allied to Japan. Italy, Burgundy. We don't even have to do anything in the next war. Yes, finally, we have Senussi in our sphere. Why does advertising give me education efficiency? I guess because people learn to read in order to be affected by advertisements? It's gonna be fun now. Don't miscount. I would never. This was not intentional. <laughs> I mean, I didn't miscount, I just... Symbols are hard. Like when you have to put the shape in the shape that doesn't fit. So crazy that they make something like that for children. Fuck this. Macedonian nationalists have enforced the demands on Arabia. The Crucible Rep... I legitimately can't believe this. I did not want Byzantium again in this game. I should have just sphered. Oh, right, I can't sphere Arabia because you have 20 million men. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, oh, God! This is Millennium Dawn, or what is this? They're just playing musical chairs in Arabia. Thank God we live in such enlightened times. I think that's a war crime, actually, to use gas on civilians. Actually, then again, it's also a war crime to use it on soldiers. We only have 4% jingos. No, that's atrocious. I can't even take all of China. Yeah, I don't think Thamboy Hooters will go to war. Scandinavian War of Brazilian Freedom becomes the Great War. Are you sure? Wait, what? Uh, because we had truces, the war immediately white peace. I wanted to do one thing before I turn off. Right. RSI. We can't just break it for two infamy. That's not a big deal. Terrain is so busted in Victoria, man. Do I care about my relation to Socialist Republic of Central America? I don't think they like me. Don't make me get over there. I've sieged everything. Great war experience. My favorite. Oh, Jesus. Cuban nationalists again. The Cuban nationalists, they don't want anything. They're just angry. I must have researched something. Super soldiers that can just stand on the water. Militant socialists. I didn't really get Jacobins this game, so... Militant socialists are the next best thing. Speak of the devil! <laughs> Speak of the devil and he shall appear. <gasps> we can finally colonize something. Hawaii. 
I was almost done with the first revolt. It's gonna be the first thing I do in Hoi Forge is clean up Africa. Sure, we're gonna join against the Alfred Union. Oh, uh, there we go. A great war against the Germans. I guess, I guess the US. Some action for us at least. Oh, it's just the Navy. Why did I build so many ships? Do you have Milexes for me? Thank you. I didn't think we would go into a great war, so I didn't bother with setting up the proper army. Uh, is there a call all allies in button? Well, they're gonna overrun Hungary and potentially Italy. Probably shouldn't have called Italy in. They don't really have anything over here. They're even sieging out England. What the fuck? I mean, I mean, it's Germany in Wiki 2. Also this. Now that we are in a state of total war, the idea has arisen that Grand Firma should approach Effort Union's enemies to see if they are allies, but a soul saying go send me off a man who is my friend. Sure. Avad, yes, uh, of course, the true enemy of Erfurt, Avad. Let me just Wikipedia this, surely there's something there. Well, that's sending in all of the troops, but it doesn't really matter because we're still dug in. Liberate Hungary and Österreich, Bernat Republic, humiliate us, dismantle us, oh my god. Just because you're winning against Hung... Scandinavia isn't really fighting yet. And we're losing against... Oh, Jesus, there's so many Americans here. Ukrainian liberation of Scandinavia and Moscow. What the fuck is going on? Everybody's now getting attacked. Well, I mean, it's as chaotic as a great war. Right, uh, Africa, in case I want to... Scandinavia. Why are you like this? God, they're gonna reinforce again. 920 brigades. Why is Erfurt here? What the fuck? A crisis during a great war. Scandinavia is losing to Ugria. Turkestan has spawned. The map looks worse than before. Coming into Wiki 2, the map look okay. Just look at this. Ah, you have to leave. You also go out there. We can't get in there. Actually, I can get in there. Rescue maneuver is underway. Oh, I sent the wrong one. That's why you cycle divisions out. If I didn't do this, then I couldn't keep on fighting here. Shit. Actually, minus six digging. Doesn't matter what you do. You can't win this battle. <laughs> They're still reinforcing. <laughs> Second war of Italian aggression against... It is against... We've accepted a peace offer from... On the following terms, white piece. Take another look, see, uh, cycle you out, cycle you out. Well, it is a World War One simulator, I suppose. Fuck, I'm leader. Uh, acquire Scandinavian Moscow. Sure. <laughs> Kenya, Kenya wants a great war capitulation from us. No. I would really like to know where all of those Americans are coming from. <laughs> 250 war score. That was only one of these two battles. Probably 1.3 million casualties on the American side versus 115k on our side. Terrain is very good. Very important in late game Victoria. And that didn't do anything here. And another 1 million. What is Scandinavia do? Why are so many divisions here? 140 divisions here. And... You're just watching. We will just chalk this up. There we go. We have lost the Great War. We could have drawn this out, but our allies are incompetent. We can no longer rely on them and instead must look to other alliances. Like, for example, Femba Hutus. Also, tip, do not research market determined exchange rates. You get more admin efficiency, which by this point you honestly don't need anymore. But also, uh, if you do research this, hyperinflation. Not good. What do you mean? This is great. I'm a billionaire now. Just a shame that a slice of bread costs two billion mark. And I can't even afford a green screen anymore. I guess we can beat up the Endline Federation. Are you allied with anybody? That's a lot of allies. Sure. <laughs> great war number two. Let's go. Which does mean I can call in some incompetence. Wait, the third great war? When was the first one? What is plan? Plan is mountain. Just like... <laughs> Minus three terrain, river crossing and six digging. But yeah, we'll just have to play like this. And I guess we can send these three stacks down here. God, this looks stupid. We started off as the Femboy Republic in Mexico. We slowly wrote some Femboy literature in order to become a great power. We worked on getting Cuba and of course Brazil into our sphere to then 
unite the fanboys. We crawled with the fanboy rooters, but right now they are one of our most trusted allies. Oh god, Scandinavia is fascist. We watched Africa get unscrambled. Oh, Morocco has grown, but still, the rest of it has just... <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen an Africa like this in a Vic 2 game at the end of it. Germany did unite, although it is looking as messed up as the Reich. Uh, we sadly watched Arabia. Scandinavia has done nothing except for unscramble Africa. Oh, they did that very well indeed. Just a bunch of weird stuff like Australia. Can you just imagine that? Australia. 